I don't know how it's gonna end. You don't know how it's gonna end. We're in this together. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've talked with you guys. Today we're actually not doing that much talking. We're doing, okay? Today we're doing. And what we're doing is having a quarter life crisis, AKA dying and cutting my own hair. My hair is just not looking how I want it to look. My highlights are outgrown, ends are dead. It looks very like brittle and dry. I procrastinated getting my hair done by a professional. So now I'm resorting to my own measures. I don't know anything about hair, so this is gonna be really interesting. Pretty much my only sources right now are all of the YouTube videos that I binge watched last night. I don't know how it's gonna end. You don't know how it's gonna end. We're in this together and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna head out to go buy the supplies and then we're gonna come back and get started. Let's get into it. Okay, we're back. We've got the goods got a big t-shirt on we've got our emotional support matcha let's get into it so my plan is to combine both of these the latte and the back to brown and then i'm adding a smidge of sunset lover to make it a little bit more red and get some like hopefully red undertones going on so i'm gonna start by mixing each one individually in the bottle because it says you have to mix it inside the bottle and then pouring it out into the bowl that I bought so that I can have them all together if you know what I mean. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Comes with some gloves, the pigment cream, a little bottle with the activator where everything gets mixed up, some like serums and stuff like that. And I was looking for a paper with the instructions but I guess like the whole box is the instructions. So I'm gonna look at that really quickly. So the first thing you're supposed to use is the little protect barrier gel. And you just put that on like your hairline and pretty much anywhere the dye might get on so that it doesn't stain your skin. Now it says we have to put the entire pigment cream into the activator. I should probably have gloves on. That would be the smart thing to do. It says that every drop counts. So this is literally everything I squeezed out of it. Now it says put the nozzle cap back on and shake vigorously until everything is well mixed. So then it says that you would literally just part your hair and start saturating it. But since I'm mixing a few colors, I'm gonna do the other two bottles and then Pour them out into a bowl based on the color mixture that I want to get. We're getting a little sciency with it now. Just hope that this works out. So I'm going to do that really quickly. So now I have all three colors and I'm going to take out the little bowl that I bought and pour out the latte and the brown and mix those together. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the red for, like I said, the little red undertones that I'm hoping to get. And maybe like a third of this um, so I'm just gonna eyeball it this is what the mixture looks like right now I'm gonna mix it with a little spoon really quick and then come back okay camera died for a quick sec but I split my hair into four parts like it said and I'm gonna start at the bottom in the back and I'm gonna end up using the brush because it's not in the bottle anymore obviously if you're just using one color you can just use the bottle but here goes nothing you're supposed to saturate it from the roots all the way to the bottom and make sure it's fully saturated I feel like I'm nervous about this because my hair has been like it's just gone through so much color treatment over the years. But you know, you only live once. 
hair grows back it's better to try i guess you know that's it for one of the sections i'm gonna finish up the top here and then once it's settling in i'll come back and touch base all right so now that everything's in it says you're gonna massage your head so really get the color in not miss a single strand so now i just clipped my hair it says away from the face and neck and i'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes time to rinse this baby out okay so we're out of the shower pretty much when you're in there you're just supposed to jump in rinse off the color and then when the water runs clear you go in with a shampoo any shampoo and then you go in with the little packet that i showed you earlier little treatment that it comes with comb that through with a wide tooth comb and then rinse that out and then you're good i'm not gonna lie to you when i was in there first rinsing off my color i had a moment of panic because my hair felt so dry and i was like okay this is it like all my hair is gonna fall out in the shower i'm gonna be bald like it's happening but then after i went with the shampoo and the conditioner it was fine like it felt soft and normal so it's been towel drying for like five or ten minutes now i'm gonna take this off to see what the color looks like i have so many baby hairs but this is what it looks like right now it's very dark it looks pretty much like my normal hair color but i can see a tiny little bit of lighter brown peeking through which i like i don't see the red yet maybe i just didn't add enough which is fine i'm gonna comb this through and pretty much air dry it for a bit before i blow dry it and then after it's blow dried straight i'm gonna go in and cut it i'll be back once this is fully blow dried second look at this color <gasps> it looks pretty different on camera than it does in natural lighting so i'm gonna try to make sure to show you in the natural lighting what it looks like i do want to trim the dead ends off my hair and also maybe try doing some bang not like blunt bangs somewhere between wispy bangs and curtain bangs Again, I've been looking at a bunch of videos. I have some inspo pictures that I'm going to show you that I'm kind of trying to go for. So I'm going to literally use these tiny scissors to cut my hair right now. Y'all wish me luck. Pray for me because I need it. Okay, so I straightened this like triangle section here so that I can really see how long my hair is. What I'm gonna do right now is do like a smaller triangle that will be sort of like the wispy bang. And then I'm gonna slowly add more hair from the triangle to make the curtain bangs on the side. So I'm gonna show you what I mean in a second. So out of this big triangle that I just did, parting it in the middle, right in the middle and taking like a super small triangle here just like this this tiny bit here i'm gonna tuck the rest away for a sec making sure it's like even as possible now i'm going to loosely don't yank this like this like i've seen it everywhere like don't pull it down because like once you let up it looks shorter i would literally be sick if i ended up with little lad hair today so we are being super loose with this i'm gonna start around here i'm so nervous it's just hair it's just hair oh my god okay so now now that this is like this i am pretty much like i don't want to do it too short i'm just gonna start cutting the middle like start making this go out like this like layers inverted triangle vibes Okay. 
and I might shorten them a bit more later but for now I'm leaving it here like I'm playing it super safe now we're adding another layer from this little triangle on each side just like that Pretty much what we want to do is just like go diagonally here so that it blends in, okay? Just always want to make sure things are well blended. If there's one thing I know about hair is that nothing should ever be like a straight line. Other side. So this is how the bangs are looking right now when I put them out of my face. I'm actually kind of happy with them. I might even go a little bit shorter in the middle because I want a little more around my eyes and I need to trim this side obviously but now the goal is just to obviously blend this going down like this but I'm gonna do this off camera because I need to straighten my hair a bit more first so it's not all waved up and then I think I'm just gonna come back once everything is done and I have my makeup on, outfit on, and yeah, I'll show you the final results in a bit. Okay, what do we think? Got a little bang action going on. I love the color. It looks very rich and healthy. I might go back in and like see about the haircut. Again, this was my first time doing anything to my hair by myself like this, so. I'm obsessed with how healthy it looks. I feel very sultry woman, like. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something watching this video. I sure as hell did. I am running late, so I will end the video here. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys in another video soon. Besos.